Hi guys and welcome to the last video in the Algebraic Fractions topic. In this video we're just going to be looking at some exam type questions on Algebraic Fractions. Okay, so here is the first one. Pause the video just now and have a go at the question. So you have to simplify x squared minus 4x over x squared plus x minus 20 and it's worth 3 marks. Okay, now your solution. So to simplify an algebraic fraction in this form, we need to be thinking about expressing it as a product of factors. So we have x squared minus 4x on the numerator and x squared plus x minus 20 on the denominator. Both of these will factorise. So on the numerator, you can see that we have a common factor of x. So you can factorise using the common factor method. That gives us x bracket x minus 4. On the, the denominator, we have a trinomial. So what we're looking for here are the factors of 20, which will add to give us the positive 1. So we can have 2 and 10, 1 and 20, or 4 and 5. The only combination we could use here is 4 and 5. We're looking for a positive x, but a minus 20. So therefore, we need to have x plus 5 and x minus 4. What you should spot here is that you have a common factor of x minus 4 on both the numerator and the denominator. These will cancel off and leave you with your simplified answer of x over x plus 5. You get three marks for this question. Your first mark comes from factorising the numerator, the second mark from factorising the denominator, and the third mark for simplifying. Okay, the next question comes from the 2014 National 5 paper, and it's from paper 2. So we have to express 7 over x plus 5 minus 3 over x, where x is not equal to negative 5 or 0, as a single fraction in its simplest form. Basically what this is asking us to do is to do the calculation. So we have 7 over x plus 5 minus 3 over x. Again, pause the video and try the question. Okay, so we want to express this as a single fraction, so we need to have a common denominator. To get that common denominator, we need to do a kiss and smile method. So cross multiply and multiply the denominators. So the 7 times the x gives us 7x. The 3 times the x plus 5, we'll just see that as a bracket at the moment. And multiply the denominators together, we have x bracket x plus 5. Now, we need to simplify this. This is clearly not in its simplest form. So to simplify, we need to expand out the bracket on the numerator. So the 3 outside multiplies everything inside, then we'll collect up the like terms. So the 7x stays where it is for the moment. We then have minus 3x and minus 15. Be careful of the signs here, because we're getting negative times the positive. Or the denominator, we leave it as x bracket x plus 5. Now you can see that we've got two x terms on the numerator here. We've got 7x minus 3x. These will collect together to leave you with 4x minus 15 over x bracket x minus 5. Plus 5, sorry. Okay, that would be your final answer in its simplest form. Again, you have three marks for this question. you get one mark for doing your cross multiplication. <laughs> your second mark comes from multiplying the denominators. And your third mark comes from tidying up and simplifying. Okay, and the last one. This one comes from a National 5 practice paper. It's pra practice paper A and it's paper 1. So again, we want to express 3 over x minus 5 over x plus 2, where x is not equal to 0 and x is not equal to 2 as a single fraction in its simplest form. Again, take some time to pause the video and give this question a try. Right, so for us to express this as a single fraction in its simplest form, Again, we need to cross multiply and multiply the denominators. So cross multiplying, 
the t times the x plus 2, then minus 5 times x, but 5 times x is just 5x. On the denominator, we have x multiplied by x plus 2. So again, we just set them side by side. Now again, we have to simplify this by expanding out the brackets. So the 3 multiplies everything inside. And then collecting up any like terms. So 3 bracket x plus 2, well that gives us 3x plus 6. And minus 5x stays as it is. All over x bracket x plus 2. I collect up the like terms here. We have 3x minus 5x. So that would give us a negative 2x plus 6 over x bracket x plus 2. And that's your fraction in its simplest form. So that's the end of the algebraic fractions videos. The next set of videos will take you through how to do certs and indices.